Hello, Thrifty Food Plan Channel friends. Uh, I'm so glad you are back. If you are new here, my name is Jay, and this is a channel that really focuses on uh, kind of frugal foods, healthy eating, largely informed by the USDA's Thrifty Food Plan. And today I'm making another batch dinner based on the meal plan that I did a couple days ago. So let's get into it. Okay, friends, I am going to make a little loaf of bread. Now, let me say I have no yeast, so this is going to be a super dense bread. I'm going to take one cup of all-purpose flour, one cup of whole wheat flour. I'm going to put some flax in just because I can. To that, I'm going to add half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of cane sugar and two teaspoons of baking powder. I'll also add in about one tablespoon of olive oil. You can leave this out if you don't do oil. It just, you know, kind of helps it a little bit. And then three quarter cup to one cup of hot, not hot, like warm water, kind of a little more than lukewarm. And I'm gonna mix it all up in this bowl. Doesn't really require kneading, but I will show you what I got and if you're uh, preheat your oven to 425. All right so I just used my hands um, to kind of put it together. This does not need kneading um, the way a traditional bread would but what we are going to do is press this down a little bit and kind of fold it in like kind of an envelope sort of a thing. And then I'm going to kind of form it into the dough shape or loaf shape that I want it to be in. Okay. And I've got just a little bit of parchment paper on here. And I am going to want to score it. All right. And then I'm going to put this in the oven at 450 for like, sorry, 425 for like 10 minutes. And then I'm going to lower the temperature down to 350 and just check on it periodically, but my little bread loaf is going in. Okay, I'm gonna let it go for on 425 for 15 minutes total. And you can tell I kind of scored it too deeply, so be careful with that. 425 for 15 minutes total, then I'm gonna lower the temp to 350 for 10 minutes. Yummy, yummy. Okay, friends, so my bread is cooling, and while it is cooling, I am going to make my carrot soup. I could have, you know, done some chopping while the bread was cooking, but I didn't. So I'm gonna chop up what's left of these carrots. Um, I'm gonna start with the base of this, you know, kind of soup starter blend, which has onions and peppers in it. I kind of hoped it had celery in it. Oh, it is celery. Okay. So I'm probably going to use at least half of this. I'm just going to get that mixing up with a little bit of vegetable broth. So I've got about two cups left in here. Um, and then once these get kind of softened, I'm going to add in the rest of the diced carrots and some thyme and salt and pepper. Later on, I'm going to add in half of this tofu. So we will talk about that when we get there. Carrot soup coming up. All right, I've got my carrots chopped up. I did decide to save two carrots for snack. So hopefully this will be enough carrots. I'm estimating this is about a pound of chopped carrots. So I'm going to add it to the blend that's already in here and softened. I'm gonna add some salt, add a little salt, and then I'm gonna add all of the vegetable broth that's left in here, which I'm estimating is about two cups. All right, so this has been cooking 
you know, I let it, I brought it to a boil and then I um, just let it simmer probably for 20 minutes. And the way I decide whether it's ready for the next step is I take out a couple of carrots and I just see if they smash pretty easily. And I think these, I don't know, it's pretty easy. All right, maybe it's ready for the next step. I'm gonna let it cool for a couple minutes and then I will get going. All right, folks, so I am just going to puree in batches because I don't have a big enough blender. Um, sort of the base of the carrot soup. All right, I've been pureeing, and now I'm just gonna add in um, just some chopped up tofu, about a half a pound. I didn't press it or anything. It's just going in wholesale to add a little bit of protein to our soup. Okay, so it is pureed up with the tofu, and that does make it uh, kind of creamy, which is an added benefit. And now I'm gonna add a lot of flavoring. I'm gonna add some more salt. I'm gonna add what is for me an abundance of thyme. Use whatever um, seasoning you have or whatever seasoning you like. And then I'm going to add a ton of pepper because I love pepper. And I'm gonna put the soup back on the stove just to stew up for another 10 minutes or so and then I will be ready to serve up some homemade carrot soup with my homemade bread. And let me just say, if you don't have tofu, you also could use a can of white beans. If you don't have white beans or tofu and you have a can of coconut milk, you could use that. Um, doesn't have protein in it, but is yummy in carrot soup. All right, so I'm gonna spice this up, put it back on the stove, and then I will serve up my, my meal and give you a look-see. Okay, folks, so my soup is ready. This is my favorite handy dandy half a cup scoop, which helps me like do portions and stuff. So I am going to do one and a half cups as a serving. So one, two, three, and then to help me understand how many leftovers I have, put some in my handy Pyrex here. One. That's kind of one and a half. Two. Looks like I'm gonna have a little bit, if I get all of this out of the pot, I can probably squeak two servings out of it, which will be great. So that's, I will have three total lunches and dinners. Yay, yummy, yummy. Okay, party people, here's my lunch. I've got my carrot soup. I've got two slices of homemade bread. Now, if you had butter or whatever, you could spread some butter on it, but I'm just gonna dip mine in my carrot soup. As you just saw, I have two servings of the carrot soup left over and I have plenty of bread. Y'all might also remember that on my meal plan for this week, I had um, sort of the faux tuna salad, the chickpea salad. So I also can slice this bread and use it to make sandwiches with that, which would be delicious. Got a little salt and pepper in case I need it, some water, and a couple pieces of dark chocolate for dessert. This is my lunch and or dinner for the next three meals, this one included. Yummy, yummy. Okay, so I made this carrot soup with what I already had on hand, but those of you who might wanna go out and replicate this recipe, these are prices uh, from my local Kroger equivalent. They have carrots for $1 a pound, and this recipe used about a pound of carrots. That uh, frozen Mirapois blend, I used the entire half bag that you saw. That would price out to 75 cents. Veggie broth, I used half of the container, which is about two cups. That comes to 80 cents. An extra firm uh, pack of tofu, I used half of it. That's $1. And then I just kind of estimated spices at 10 cents. And let me just say, 
nothing on this list is on sale right now. So you probably, depending on sale items, could make it a lot cheaper. But when we add all of this up, if you wanted to kind of, you know, make it at actual cost, it's $3.64 total, and it made three servings. So that comes to $1.21 per serving. And you can serve it with a side salad on the side. You could serve it with bread on the side. I made my own bread because I didn't have bread. Um, you know, just bulk it up with something on the side uh, that you already have in your pantry, fridge, or freezer. So pretty cost-effective uh, recipe. And I was really excited that I was able to add some protein to it. Okay, friends. So that is my protein carrot soup with a little homemade bread recipe for when you don't have any yeast. Um, again, make your carrot soup. You can make bread. You can use bread you already have on hand. You could serve it with a side salad. Important though, to have a little something uh, to beef it up. So as I'm just in the next couple days, I'm gonna continue to eat through my fridge, freezer and pantry. And in a couple of days though, I will be going to the grocery store because the college phenom is coming home and I will need to pick up some things for her. For the newbies, the college phenom is my daughter. So I hopefully will see you in a couple of days. As always, I thank all of you for visiting. I thank those of you who watch until the very end, and hopefully I'll see you in a couple of days.